Welcome VV fam. In this video I'll be talking about why bots aren't the problem as other users and why people are using bots as an excuse for missing jobs. Now I know straight away that's going to be quite controversial for some but I do feel as part of my role on this channel is to give my honest opinion on things. Won't always be right but I'll always be speaking what I think to be true. And yes bots can and do exist on the app but I think the majority of bots and the situation with bots has been overhyped. I haven't used the bot myself, have been DM'd with people selling bots potentially, but I haven't looked into it. And the purpose of this video really is to kind of talk through some of the issues, talk through what we can be doing, and also what VV could be doing in the future. Because I think the problem isn't bots, it's other users and the fact that VV have a PR problem when it comes to, to bots. So first of all, for you that don't know, bots is just a program on a phone that either lets you click, sorry, lets it click the binary button very quickly, or pick up the floor for a, a correctable on the central market. Basically makes it easier for people to get drops and buy correctables in comics compared to someone just sitting there tapping the phone. People run scams with bots, people uh, bought a farm, have hundreds of phones potentially trying to to uh, pick up drops. At least that's the perception out there. I actually think, first of all, bots is a very small percentage of things on the app are actually picked up by bots. The reason being is um, it's so difficult to uh, to, to know one way or the other. But more importantly, VV can and do track every transaction. They know who's going where, what's been sent, and how it's been working. So I do feel that VV, from my own point of view, need to make sure bots aren't inundating on the app. It's something not just unique to VV. Every single website, every single app has to deal with bots, whether it's NFTs or not. So it's something that they're all meant to deal and tackle with. And people you know feeling frustrated on the app because they don't get a drop well unfortunately the top tickle drop a day with the comics is 30,000 mints if you've got a million millions of people on the app the chances of anyone getting that drop is really quite small there's other things that are going to affect the drop as well in terms of your phone quality of connection your ping etc so there's so many other factors that even if we did get rid of all the bots most people still wouldn't get a drop if there's a million people sitting waiting to get a drop on a comic there's only 30,000 additions. That's nine, over 99.999% 99 of people not getting that drop. And it is frustrating to see people, I suppose, get a drop and you don't know what happened. It is frustrating to see people get drops multiple times and wonder why. But I sincerely doubt that those people that are sharing of God's that are using bots, maybe will look into accounts that have got the same or, or numerous drops across a period of time and check those things out. And we know that because people have been uh, when you can Discord banned or have our accounts frozen, looked into because of suspected activity or suspicious activity, and VV, VV look into it, take some time to do it, and then they either unlock the account or keep it banned. So that's that's a in one way a good sign because VV are involved. But as I say, you see all these pictures on Twitter of you know ten phones running bots etc. We can come up and, and get the drop. I mean, that's one example that someone's either done legitimately or doctored to it like that. Let's go, go into the heart of the here. Who's actually going to install a bot on your phone? You have no idea what that application you have on your phone is actually doing. It could be even your personal data. It can get access to your account potentially. It could get access to your bank account. Who knows, it could be listening to your, your calls, your keystrokes, your taps on your phone. You're basically letting someone put in potentially malware, antivirus or anything like that onto your app and you have no idea what that could actually do. So the people doing this a huge risk and whenever I hear about people who went and got a bot and were either scammed out of, of, of correctables or had their phone hacked or malware installed because they won't come up because they won't admit to downloads and using bots so all we ever hear about is a, a couple of success, so, success stories which do we all believe in and we hear people sharing things and, and posting things about having multiple drops but people do those things just for attention as well regardless of whether or not we actually get it so it's Fairly, fairly straightforward to mock something up. So I'm not saying there's not bots on the app, I'm just saying it's not going to be the number one reason why people do not get access or get, get to a drop or get a sent to market item. It's for me, it is the fact that we've just got so many users on the app and so few mints in a drop. It's going to make it very difficult. And again, in the marketplace, similar situation, particularly just after a drop, a lot of people with good connections and fast phones can sweep the forest, night the market, and we see this quite often, people will sweep the floor, buy things up, then sell them up for a profit very quickly. So we get the same user with multiple um, correctables for sale. Or we see 
accounts that don't have an ID, don't have a face, and that could just be people's friends and family that we've kind of encouraged to come onto the app and use and not in setting up profiles, etc. because they're just there because someone's asked to be there. So there's always going to be reasons why people don't get drops and don't get sent to market. And I just feel there's a lot of negativity just now about bots, bots, bots. And for me, what we need to do is keep doing what we're doing in terms of addressing bots. But more importantly, we need to get out there in terms of PR and marketing side of thing and explain that actually it's not bots are not the issue. It's just the number of people on the app and the fact that there's so few collectibles and mints out there that most people are going to be disappointed and they're still willing to pay the fees and the cost on the stage of market. So just my quick thoughts there. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people have strong opinions on bots on the app and I'd love to hear what people think in the comments below. I, I do enjoy engaging with people in the comments section so please feel free to share if you agree with me and think actually bots aren't a big problem as made out to be. If you think VV have more of a PR problem when it comes to bots or if you disagree and you actually think bots are a problem in the app and why you think that. So please let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, if you want videos like this, please do keep subscribing to the channel, liking the videos, it really helps me out here. And please do check out this video here. It's been very popular on the app. Or you can check out this video here. I'm sure you love it. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.